prophetically, the rising beast is not just China, but a coalition of nations, including Russia and Iran. Many nations who are currently U.S. allies will switch alliances and join the beast, eventually leading to World War III and the destruction of the Great Whore, America, which is prophesied in many scriptures. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree, and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Though the whore believes she is being made rich by riding the beast, in all actuality she is becoming weak, spoiled, and decadent. So as the whore celebrates pride and sexual perversion, promiscuity and excess, the beast, the red dragon of the east, is marching forward with an innumerable number of soldiers, reconstructing the world's largest trade route, the New Silk Road. Empires ascend to power, marching in armor and steel boots, and descend from power, waltzing in silk robes and silk slippers. It is not hard to see what phase America and the entire Western world is in, the silk slipper phase. And to illustrate this point, we're going to show you recent military recruitment commercials from China, Russia, and America. Это первый день твоей новой жизни. То, что было вчера, не имеет значения. То, кем ты был прежде, уже никого не волнует. Теперь важно то, кем ты будешь сегодня. Что ты знаешь о себе? На что ты способен? Вопросы могут остаться без ответов, но разве ты сможешь потом спокойно спать? Познать себя, познать границы своих возможностей. К черту границы, ты готов ломать себя до изнеможения. Каждый день здесь боль закаляет. Шрамы, повседневность. Это ты решил себе что-то доказать. Командир здесь только для того, чтобы ты мог увидеть в нем врага. Потому что без врага нет боя, а без боя нет победы. На самом деле, главный враг — это ты. Вчерашний ты. Твоя задача — выследить врага, догнать его, превзойти, стать лучше, чем он, и вернуться назад победителем. Потому что завтра — первый день твоей новой жизни. This is the story of a soldier who operates your nation's Patriot Missile Defense Systems.
It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, took ballet, played violin, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. Doctors said she might never walk again. But she tapped into my family's pride to get back on her feet, eventually standing at the altar to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class and then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong women. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been handed so much in life, a sorority girl stereotype. Sure, I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? One of my sorority sisters was studying abroad in Italy. Another was climbing Mount Everest. I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it, a way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my calling. <laughs>